to Rejoicing Heart Ministries. We hope everyone is having a great day. This is Robin Donna Litwin here to encourage you with the Word of God. Today we have a teaching about seeking godly wisdom and understanding. Our reading is from the first letter of Paul to Timothy, chapter 6, verses 3 through 5. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof comes envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. From such withdraw thyself. Today's teaching is called Holy Spirit Wisdom. From this reading, you know that the Apostle Paul explained that if anyone would teach anything other than the sound words that he taught in the Bible, which he refers to as even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is according to godliness, that you should withdraw yourself from that man. Paul explains about that man, that he is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof comes envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. The part of this reading that should really stand out when you read it is where it says, This man knows nothing and is destitute of the truth. Destitute means deprived or lacking. The man that Paul is speaking of here could be anyone that is teaching false doctrine from the word of God because he does not completely understand the truth. The apostle Paul spoke of these people in his second letter to Timothy, chapter 3, verse 5, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. Paul said these people will appear to be godly, but they are not accepting the power of God available to them through the Holy Spirit that teaches wisdom and knowledge as written in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 8. Without this Holy Spirit wisdom, it is impossible to teach sound doctrine from the Word of God, the Holy Bible. It is better for you to read the Word yourself and ask God for wisdom than to continue to get polluted information from people that are teaching with man wisdom and not Holy Spirit wisdom. This wisdom that you should have faith in is shown by the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 5, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Adding to this, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 25, it strengthens it even more, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. Now, knowing that God's foolishness is wiser than men, and knowing that God is not foolish, how can you not desire to have this heavenly wisdom of the Holy Spirit? The answer to that question is, through deception, people fail to see the truth in the Word. Now, this question applies to everyone, from the person that doesn't even know Jesus today, even up to the seasoned pastor of 40 years or more. Everyone needs to receive this godly wisdom through the Holy Spirit, so you can live in the abundant life Jesus spoke of in the Gospel according to John, chapter 10, verse 10. I am come, that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Everyone needs to understand through God's word that you have life more abundantly through Jesus. You should be receiving Holy Spirit wisdom teaching through the Bible in your own church today. If you're in a church right now and you feel uncomfortable with what they are teaching, or you feel like you are lacking something, you are probably not in the right church for you. Everyone has a different perspective on their own church and what they want from it. But the one thing that is most important is that the church is teaching with godly wisdom and not man wisdom. Because man wisdom will steer you in the wrong direction. Because 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 says clearly that evil communications corrupt good manners. Man wisdom does not teach the truth in the word of God. It keeps you in bondage and suffering. When you consider changing churches, don't hang on to your traditions like this is the church my whole family has attended forever. Think on spiritual things when you consider this. And what you have to gain in your relationship with God by changing churches. I recently heard a minister pray over his people that the spirit of desperation be upon them. I immediately rebuked this statement in the name of Jesus for all those people. This is evil communication at its best for a minister to speak or pray negative like this over anyone. It is written in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Everything you say out of your mouth has a life-changing effect on people. Praying desperation over someone is speaking bondage and suffering that is unnecessary because Jesus has already suffered so you don't have to. If you were in this situation where a minister spoke or prayed evil over you, 
and you accept it into your heart, you will have that hardship in your life because Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 says, For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. This tells you that whatever you think in your heart, that is what you will be. If you accept a prayer that says you are desperate and you believe it, you will be desperate. If you think you are sick, you will be sick. If you think you are poor, you will be poor. The Bible teaches otherwise on these things because you have abundant life through Jesus. If you consider the information given here, use it to start living an abundant life. Start seeing yourself in a positive light and stop thinking negatively. Speak life into your situations without the doom and gloom perspective that so many people have accepted through man wisdom. Seek godly Holy Spirit wisdom. Try a new church with guidance from God which one you should go to. You may find out that it is the best thing you ever did. Remember that you get truth through the Holy Spirit, as shown in the Gospel according to John, chapter 16, verse 13. Howbeit, when He, the Spirit of truth, is come, He will guide you into all truth. You should desire this truth because John, chapter 8, verse 32 says clearly, The truth shall make you free. This freedom opens up that door to the abundant life that Jesus has already provided you. Open up your heart to this Holy Spirit wisdom and accept this abundant life today. Father, thank you for your abundant life. Guide us today to help grow our relationship with you. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Thank you for listening to Rejoicing Heart today. If this teaching has blessed you, please consider becoming a monthly partner to help us increase the ways we are proclaiming the Word of God. This is easy to do. Just visit our website at rejoicingheart.net. We thank you for your support. We leave you with more encouragement from the Apostle Paul from Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.